If you look at intermittent fasting, um, there are some forms that I think are very beneficial. So 12 hours of eating and 12 hours of fasting. Um, so that, that um, it, I, I always say I never seen a negative uh, uh, study related to 12-12. Uh, as you go lower, as in Sachin Panda has done a lot of work on that, as you go lower, you start seeing problems. So people that eat 15, 16 hours a day, they tend to have lots of problems. Um, but as if, as if you go to higher fasting levels, that also seems to be associated with problems. So people that fast for 16 hours a day, um, you have uh, 16, 18 hours a day, let's say uh, you have a, a two-fold increase in gallstone, the chance of having a gallstone formation, the, the chance of needing a, a gallbladder operation. Um, and also most people that do 16 hours skip breakfast and breakfast skipping now in a series of studies has been associated with a shorter lifespan and not a longer lifespan. Now, uh, most uh, will complain that, yes, but it does, you know, breakfast skip, uh, skippers may have other problems. Sure. But I always say, even if they did, uh, even if it wasn't the breakfast, breakfast skipping, if 16 hours uh, is so uh, powerful, uh, why aren't they at least living normal, right? So why isn't, isn't it balancing the, the problem that, that the, the whatever other problems they might have. So, so yeah, looking at mechanisms. So why does a ghost storm form, right? It, it forms uh, uh, because during the fasting period, the, the, the bile and the cholesterol accumulate in the gallbladder. And so, you know, the, so the fasting mimicking diet is about thinking of all of these things, so including the, the ghost storm formation and, uh, and the cholesterol and the release of the cholesterol. Um, yeah, so we, we uh, we think about all these things as uh, as we develop this, as we're developing this at the University of Southern California, and then the company, of course, develops it further. But uh, um, but I think yes. Yeah, so all those things uh, are uh, in our mind, have been in our mind for the last 15 years. But uh, Italy is not a good place to to be skipping anything, you know. Uh, so yeah. when I'm there for I, I'm there for about five months a year, and um, and uh, I. Uh, I have to say, I take advantage of the food. Yeah, and also I think of the social aspect of eating, that I think eating together at the, 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 the table is, is very important in Italy. And I think your books and your research shows that also when you eat, what you eat is important, when you eat, and I think also how you eat it. Uh, you eat food, right? I think we are all increasingly eating uh, food in, in isolation, and this is also not good for us. So from time to time, I think uh, a virtual trip to Italy and uh, <laughs> to get some training in the social aspects of eating is also good for longevity. <laughs> so thank you very much, uh, Walter, for being with us. It's, it's been a pleasure and uh, thank you. Thank you once again. My, my pleasure, my pleasure. Yeah, thank thank you, you very much. And if everything goes well, we can mark our calendar to meet again in 50 years and talk about the next I, I, I hope so no maybe 70 years <laughs>